All right, we return now to the Choose How You Move initiative, something we've followed closely since voters approved it last November. It impacts so many, and it impacts how our tax dollars are being spent. So far, News Channel 5's Kim Rafferty has shared how smart signals will work, what transit centers will do, and the major developments planned for our main roads. Now she shows us how the Traffic Management Center will use all of this to better direct traffic in the future. Who makes up the Nashville we call home on a typical day? I can live down right there here. That's why I would walk to the school, just get my exercise or whatever. Drivers on their morning commute past Tony Laster on Clarksville Pike. It's Reginald Jones on a bus from Gallatin Pike to East Nashville. Because I'd have to go all the way to town, then get off, catch another bus, and go. It's Elaine Often who rides the bus to run errands. They'll get you there and get you back. That's for sure. Look closer, and Elaine walks through grass to get to the bus. So does Reginald, who rides for an hour to go east. And Tony went to the hospital when a driver hit him as he walked across the road. I wouldn't walk out across the street if it wasn't real. Nashvillians voted to adopt the Choose How You Move initiative last year, which increased sales tax to fund infrastructure projects. Right here in purple, we see a little pedestrian crossing the street. Derek Haggerty is the chief traffic engineer with NDOT. In its early stages, employees watch the first smart light on Clarksville Pike. So the signals will be able to see the pedestrians, the vehicles, and choose how it operates. The LiDAR system tracks cars, buses, and people in real time, even helping them avoid accidents without tracking license plates. It's not exactly a camera, but uses light and AI to create these icons of what's around each intersection. Green is traveling at the speed limit, yellows, oranges, slowing down, red or stop. This center will play a major role for almost 600 of these lights as they're installed over seven years. In Nashville, Kim Rafferty, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kim. City leaders say they plan to roll out smart lights within the next year and install about 80 of them every year following.